a uh, an NBA doctor, I think it was a panel of NBA doctors or a panel, which included an NBA doctor, one or two, have finally ruled that Chris Bosch's NBA career is, is effectively over. Um, he last played in February of last year. Uh, I think that they were, the NBA was waiting for as close as possible for the new collective bargaining agreement to come to pass. Uh, and they feel that the blood clots that continue to affect Chris Bosch for the second year in a row now are severe to the point where it's going to be a chronic condition and it, and him trying to actually play uh, a basketball season is life-threatening. So his career is over. Um, so I can't say I'm sad, you know, because someone's health is far more important than an NBA game. Chris Bosh is still a very young man. I think he's only in his, what, early 30s, I think. So he's still a very young guy. And... Um, I wish him nothing but the best in his future. I would like to see him still stay in basketball, hopefully. Uh, he, he can't say he needs a time off because he really hasn't played much. Uh, maybe he can get into analysis. Maybe he can just become a personality. He seems like he's a pretty nice guy. Um, one thing I have to, to, to address, though, is... I'm not going to say any names, man, uh, but a subscriber of mine, uh, a subscriber of mine, Daryl Coleman, has <laughs> tipped me off to this dude, man, who, he makes basketball videos, and he seems like an okay guy, but he has a tendency to say statements that are personal opinions of his and put them off as fact. Like, he'll say something like, let's say that I, I was talking about comedians, right? And I'll say something like, I mean, but everybody knows without a doubt that Kevin Hart's a top 10 comedian of all time. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Yes, there is. I think a lot of people disagree with that. And he has the nerve to say things like, um, any young people who've been watching, you know, if you didn't see Chris Bosch's career, he was a top three big man in the league when he signed with the Miami Heat, which is extremely debatable. Okay. Now, when I say big man, I'm including centers and power forwards. Because you're talking about when he signed with the Heat, that was 2010, all right? You still had Dirk Nowitzki, okay? You still had Garnett, who might have been starting to climb at that time, but still was one of the better guys. You had Pau Gasol, okay? You had Dwight Howard. You had Andrew Bynum before he totally fell apart. Okay, those five guys right there I take already before him. At that time, okay, because despite the fact that he averaged 24 and 10 that year before, uh, Bosch was, was never a guy known for his physicality. He was an underwhelming rebounder. He was not a physical banger. And um, I think ultimately everybody would probably say that Kevin Love is probably a better overall player than Chris Bosch. You know, yeah, he averaged 24 and 10 the year before, but no, he wasn't putting up 40 and 20 or whatever the hell this guy was saying in his video. Those numbers were a little bit misleading, okay? Um, and then ultimately this guy says that, well, the thing that really pushed me to his video, he says that Chris Bosch is a surefire Hall of Famer, which is a little bit debatable to say surefire. I think he probably gets into the Hall, but surefire, no. But the thing that really got me was he said this that Chris Boss is a top 15 all-time big man. 
Big man. Now, remember before I said I disagree with a, a YouTuber who happened to be the same guy who said that he thought that Dwight Howard was a top 20 center. So essentially what you're saying is Chris Bosh is far better than Dwight Howard because you're saying he's a top 15 all-time big man, which includes power forwards and centers. That's an outlandish, outlandish comment. This is a person you can tell hasn't been really watching basketball for no more than the past 10 years. No more. For you to say something like that. Top 15 all-time big man? (laughs) I mean, historically, would you put him past Dolph Shays, Neil Johnson, Bob Pettit? What's that, three? Um, Let's think about big man in the 50s. Bill Russell. I'm not going to include Maurice Stokes because when he cracked his head, his career was it was pretty much over after that. Will Chamberlain, okay, Jerry Lucas, Walt Bellamy, Nate Thurman. You know what I mean? Like Wes Unseld, Elvin Hayes. I mean, there's just so many different big men who are far better than. Chris Bosch historically. This isn't a diss on him, but, you know, like I said, I'm not dissing him, but people can't make these ridiculous statements and think people aren't going to challenge them. It's stupid. Chris Bosch was a, Chris Bosch had a fine career. Okay. He won himself a couple of championships, with Miami Heat. Um, and he had a fine career. Not the longest career, but a fine career. But to call him a 15 time, uh, let's call him a top 15 all-time big man when you have guys like Kevin McKellen and Robert Parrish playing for years and years, okay, that they they come to mind. I'd put Powell Gasol ahead of Chris Bosh. And I don't think that Chris Bosh was one of the, uh, Powell Gasol was one of the most dominant big men. I would even, I would even suggest that Chris Bosh is probably not even a top 100 in, 75 all-time big guy or player. Um, no. And, and when you say that, people will get offended, right? But then Slam Magazine, if I remember correctly, had a guy like, hmm, I think they had a guy like uh, Derek Fisher, right? Like maybe 450. All time, close to 500. Robert Ory ranked a little bit higher, maybe like 400. When you think about the the fact that there's probably been 5,000 NBA players to play in the league, and for you to say that a guy's better than 85% of all players, somehow that's an insult. That, that's that's how limited a lot of the casual fans are in their, in their memories and their minds when it comes to historical rankings, which is why I don't like to argue historically with people who are neophytes. But anyway, Chris Boss is a fine player, but to say he's a top 15 all-time big man is, is a joke. It's a joke, okay? Top That's an insult to Moses Malone and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, okay? That's an insult to them. Can we even say, and I can't believe I'm saying this as a Bulls fan, can we even say that he's that much better than a Bill Lambeer? Really? I mean, that's just me. Tell me what you guys think.